I saw your episode back in January on cash out refi versus HELOCs. And I currently live in California. I rent, but I have two real estate properties in the Midwest that I purchased in 2020. They've appreciated at a higher rate than I could have ever expected in the last two years. And I'm fortunate enough to have a bank that's willing to do HELOCs on both properties, even though they're investment properties and not my primary residence. I'm curious from your perspective, how would you deploy that cash? Um, you know, I'm thinking of using it for an emergency CapEx cost. Um, also, could continue to buy properties for traditional, save up a down payment, and then have enough equity via HELOC to be able to buy properties outright. There's a bunch of different options, and I'm super curious to get your take once you have sizable equity in your HELOCs. Joe, great questions, and I think you kind of answered your own your own questions there. I mean, you're asking the right questions, and you're providing your, almost yourself with the right answers. So should I use some of this home equity line of credit for CapEx expenditures? Sure. You know, uh, yes, it's always good to have a safety net there in case a water heater breaks or there's an unexpected roof repair that you've got to take care of in your Midwestern homes. The good news about those homes is going to be completely different than California. It's going to be a lot cheaper for CapEx, you know, to fix up those properties. I've done uh, hundreds upon hundreds of investments in the Midwest, so I, I know it well. And, and I'm not a big Midwestern uh, investor at the moment. Um, I still have some properties, but I don't I expand in that area just you know, just some areas where I used to do a lot of investing, just we've had higher crime and, and some issues that I'm uh, have not been have not been favorable to me as far as demographic data. Um, but having said that, it's going to be much cheaper than what you're obviously dealing with in California. So CapEx as a as a thing. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, of course, having a few thousand dollars as a pillow, as a uh, as a buffer zone for you to make some uh, some repairs. Great. You know, I, I, absolutely. Second, I just want to point out, hey, fantastic that you found a bank willing to do home equity lines of credit on your investment properties. Uh, I don't know the bank, and hopefully maybe, Joe, you can call back in and let our team know because a lot of people here would love to know the answer to that. Who, do you, who did you use? Share it with our audience. We'd love to share that. Uh, I've recommended a few that we've used over the years like Flagstar, Flagstar Bank. They do a lot in the Midwest. So Flagstar has been good. Um, like I said, Dan Krause down at Churchill Mortgage, he does a lot of great stuff as well. Um, so those have just been a few of our recommendations that we have experience with here in-house. Um, but Joe, we'd love to hear your thoughts on that. The second point is having some of that money available as a down payment to make and expand your portfolio. Again, you cannot eat equity, okay? You cannot eat equity. And so if you are sitting on equity, my, you know my rule, this is my personal rule, you can take it or leave it, but absolutely deploy that equity. So you're sitting on equity. These homes have appreciated. A bank is willing to give you free money, okay? Use it. Use it to build up your portfolio of properties. Expand your portfolio. Now, I'm one of the people that believes don't go 100%. You know, if you could deploy 50% of that to add to your portfolio and then another 50% sat on the side to maybe pay down debt. Now, you live in California. If you've read my book, How to Pay Off, it's an Amazon bestseller. Please check it out in the mortgage section on Amazon. It's called How to Pay Off Your Mortgage in Five Years. Uh, get the blue cover. It's the more updated edition because of the new tax code. Check out that book on Amazon. You'll read it in a, in a few hours. It's short. It's like 100 pages. But one of the things we talk about is how to use your home equity lines of credit in order to pay down your primary mortgage. So I don't know your situation in California, Joe, but if you're like most Californians, look, my wife's from California, so I can bag on California all day long. Um, you probably have a mortgage. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm going to guess. If you live in California, chances are your mortgage is not paid off. It's a very expensive state to live in. So if you can use the equity and the home equity lines of credit from your investment properties to pay down the principal balance of your primary residence in California, then you're expanding that equity position that you can deploy additional capital, but you're also trading, you know, the two biggest enemies in a mortgage, right, are time and interest. So now if you can use this money from your home equity lines of credit to fire it at the 30-year amortized mortgage that you have in California, you're now eliminating years off of your mortgage in California. So again, this is the stuff that gets me excited. I love this question, Joe, because this is the kind of stuff I could sit over dinner with and kind of go back and forth with you and figure out what your, what your position and movement is here. But absolutely, I would be taking about 50% personally. This is my, my personal opinion. 
50% of that home equity line of credit and putting that towards uh, adding additional rental properties to my portfolio. Absolutely 100%. And then I would looking at how I could deploy that 50% other capital, uh, either have some of it sat on the sidelines. I don't want to go fully leveraged because we don't know what happens in this economy, but go make sure you're protected. And then also look at firing at your primary balance of your mortgage in California to see how quickly you could pay that off using that strategy. So great questions, everyone. You can go to uh, morrisinvest.com. That's our website. We have tons of great resources over there. Again, if you want to find out about our rental properties, we build new construction rental properties from the ground up. And our team places a tenant in the property with our great property management teams that we work with. These are in A-class a-class neighborhoods, we have the best school districts that we deploy our properties in so that we have tenants that want to stay a long time. These are great, great properties. So book a call with our team. Go to morrisinvest.com or leave us a voicemail message just by clicking the microphone icon on the side of the screen. Until next time, everyone, go out there and take action. Become a real estate investor. I believe it's the number one way to build wealth. We'll see you next time.